Hey guys, hope you're going well. I'm talking today about the Netflix original documentary series, Making a Murderer. This series, it actually took me a little while to sit down and click play to begin this series. Netflix dropped the entire season all at once on December 18th, as they love to do. And the idea of watching a documentary true crime series that followed just one crime over its 10 episode length just seemed a little bit bizarre but trust me i was wrong this series is the most fascinating true crime story I've possibly ever come across. If you are familiar at all with the podcast Serial from the creators of This American Life and hosted by Sarah Koenig, which is an excellent podcast, this is very much in the similar vein, just dissecting one single case week by week or episode by episode and each episode just honing in and focusing on one particular piece of evidence, one particular theme, one particular side or idea to this case as it just breaks it apart. The crime making a murderer is focusing on is that of Stephen Avery who in 1985 was sentenced to jail for a very brutal sexual assault in the Manitowoc County. This man served 18 years in prison for this crime maintaining all the while he did not do it and 18 years later with the resurfacing of new DNA technology they were able to prove his innocence so he was freed after after 18 years of his life. And if you thought that was an interesting story in its own, that is just the tip of the iceberg because he's released in 2003. In 2004, he files a lawsuit against the Manitowoc County Sheriff's Department for $36 million for his wrongful imprisonment. Shortly thereafter, in 2005, he is arrested for the disappearance rape and brutal murder of a local woman, Teresa Holbach. So he's back on trial for a murder. And the bulk of the series is then dedicated to going through this trial with Stephen, with his family, with his lawyers, and just really seeing the, like how he could have done this, but not only that, how he possibly might not have done this. And that is the stronger argument for this series. This is a documentary. It is not unbiased. It is clear that the filmmakers at the point of view of this documentary is taking the stance that no, Stephen Avery is innocent of this crime. And if you look at all these 10 hours of footage that we are about to show you through this series, we think that you will agree to. Now, when it comes to spoilers, this series is real life. These are real people, these are real facts, and there is a real verdict at the end of Stephen Avery's trial. If you go online, you can find it at the drop of a hat. It was widely publicized in the media at the time. However, it's the structure of the series and the way that they have narratively structured the 10 episodes that makes this such an engaging and successful documentary series. It has everything you want from any TV show that you want. It has heroes, it has villains, it has a build, it has details, it has really incredible cliffhangers at the end of its episodes. And to top it all off, it is real life. Thank you so much for watching guys. They are my thoughts on making a murderer. You can leave me comments in the comment section down below. Let me know what you thought of this series. I would love to know. You can also subscribe to my channel and keep up to date with my other movie and TV reviews and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.